Welcome everyone, this is Warth al Ma'uli. Today I'll be talking about cryptocurrency wallets. So where do you store your coins? Whenever you buy a coin or someone has to send you a coin or you have mined a coin, where do you store it? There's many types of uh, wallets and I'll be describing uh, almost six types of wallets. Uh, from the least secure to the most secure type of uh, digital currency uh, wallets. So you should always consider uh, security when it comes to picking up the right wallet. And of course, people look for convenience. So, so you should never give security in order to have better convenience. So try to balance between the two. Uh, Every wallet technically stores your public and private keys, but there are wallets that would show you your private keys and you can export them. And though there are type of wallets that you would never see your private keys. It means that you don't control them. So, so the first type of wallets is storing your uh, cryptocurrency on an exchange. So we have in front of us, this is a Bitrex exchange. They can store your uh, coins on their on the exchange and those type of uh, wallets they are called hot wallets because you can easily transfer assets between them but you don't own the private key you don't know it so if this exchange get hacked you would lose everything and there is no way to retrieve back because uh, you don't own the, the private keys and of course they own those private keys even if they share it with you Still, if anyone knows your private keys, they can do anything with your coin without your permission. So that's why they are called hot wallet because you give them this privilege in order to trade on your behalf. So they can sell and trade your assets uh, after after you approve it. I mean, you can always approve it by logging in or using a two step two step uh, authentication or Google authentication. So there's always ways to make it more secure, but it is the least secure methods of storing your cryptocurrencies. Okay, the second type of wallets is, is the paper wallets. Paper wallet is considered to be, people think that it's the most secure, but I consider it to be number two. It's, it's, it's much better than to store your, your, your assets on uh, an exchange but i would i would never store my assets on a paper wallet because where would you keep this wallet so once you have to print you you need, you need to print this one so as you can see this is an example of paper wallets but of course if anyone finds those wallets those papers they can easily import your private and public keys of course uh, there is many type of digital assets like someone wouldn't know that uh, this belongs to to which currency but if you're an expert you can tell from the first three digits to uh, uh, which wallets uh, which wallet uh, which coin does this wallet belong to so so I wouldn't store uh, my my assets on a paper wallet though it's very easy to to generate and people consider them to be secure I don't consider them to be secure because even if you bury this paper, still people can find it and, and control your uh, assets because they would own your private key. Uh, the third type of uh, wallet is the lightweight wallet. So if we need to see, if we need to store our wallet into a lightweight wallet, one of them would be Electrum. You have Electrum for BTC, Electrum for LTC, you have, you even have uh, electrum for uh, for uh, GRS as you can see there's many type of uh, of uh, lightweight wallets why are they called lightweight because you don't install you don't uh, download the entire blockchain uh, it only downloads the headers of those blockchains and that's why it's uh, very easy to run them and they're very light and you can easily see your balance very fast. So there are two types, there is single coin uh, light uh, wallet and there is multiple coin light wallet. So this is a single coin, so I can only store 
Bitcoin over here, but if I see an example of multiple coins, lightweight wallet would be something like JAX, as you can see here, JAX. Uh, you can store multiple coins. You can also, you own, of course, the private keys. As you can see, this is a private key you can export. And over here, if you go to tools, you can always display your uh, private keys. But the one I prefer is the of uh, of course single. I would use this one if I need for uh, quick transactions. But for multiple, I don't use Jax. I use Exodus, and Exodus is my best option when it comes to multiple wallets. And in order to 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 see this menu where you can export your private keys, you always have to press Control Shift D. Then you will see this hidden menu, it will show up and you can always export your private keys from this menu. Of course you can store multiple uh, wallets on this wallet and it's, it's, it's uh, much lighter than using the other type of wallets which I'll be talking about in a few seconds. There is another way, uh, th of course with these two types of wallets. Uh, the nodes that confirm your transaction is not based on the client. You don't have that stored on your client. Those nodes are remotely uh, st uh, operated. So if there is uh, traffic conjunctions on them, there is multiple requests, you, should, you will always find uh, delays whenever you need to transfer. If you need something that has its own built-in node for transaction, you should use uh, independent light wallet. This is type number four of wallets. This is independent light uh, light uh, weight wallet, where where transaction are confirmed within the client itself. It doesn't have to go to a remote node. Type number five is the full thick wallet. So it's it's similar to this, but the difference is you have to to download the entire blockchain in order to see your balances. And I will give you an example of that. Let's say Nexus. So in order to see my balances on Nexus, I have to download the entire uh, blockchain. Of course, this is much more secure because you are part of the peer-to-peer -peer network where you approve transactions as well. And, and you prove that you own a certain amount of coins and that's called proof of staking. As you can see here, I'm staking right now. So I always get awards for having this uh, independent light, uh, lightweight uh, wallet online and running. So I would always get rewarded by extra coins. But it's not uh, easy to maintain this because you have actually to, to download the entire blockchain into a PC. As you can see, it's 4.38 GB. So that's a big amount of data that you have to download. Uh, but this is much more better than install, uh, saving your assets on exchange or in paper wallet or lightweight wallet. So this is much better than the others. And uh, because you have the entire blockchain with you, you can always export your wallet. And your wallet, how do you encrypt your wallet? This one will give you a way to encrypt so you can see you can change uh, passphrase and you can lock your wallet so lock means it's encrypted so where is the wallet itself if you go this is where i go to the folders and there's a wallet here this file is encrypted you cannot access this file without without uh, decrypting it uh, number two number number two or second layer of uh, encryption is to store this on encrypted VeraCrypt uh, container, which I've explained that on uh, previous videos. Then you import this small tiny container into KeePass and you store, store it as, uh, as encrypted as well. So KeePass also allows encryption by on their database. And this is the wallet I'm having for Nexus. As you can see, it's here. I've encrypted this, uh, it using 7-zip, but you can always use uh, VeraCrypt to encrypt it and add uh, another layer of security. In terms of security, as you can see, I'm using a VMware, different, totally different uh, Windows platform for only storing uh, my coins. So 
no one would be would have access to those coins unless they have access to this VM and this VM by itself is uh, encrypted so if we go here option you can see this this VM is encrypted and these VM files are, are also stored on uh, encrypted uh, container which is uh, Veracrypt okay the last type of wallets which is the most secure is the hardware wallets and as you can see there is ledger there is tra treasure trezor there is bitbox and there is keep key those four you have to do your own uh, research before you buy any of them of course they are only usbs and those usbs uh, 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 your main functionality is to store your uh, private and public key and of course you are limited you are limited with the encryption they use so if they use AES that's it you cannot change it for myself I prefer to use uh, the light independent wallets where I have access to the file I encrypt the wa wallet itself and then I use uh, key pass to encrypt the file because it's been important to key pass that's another layer of encryption then you can use uh, you can use uh, Veracrypt to, in to, to encrypt the entire container and the entire VM over here is encrypted by Veracrypt. So, so you can see there's like five layers of encryption here. There's uh, no way that uh, people can get access into to those uh, digital assets unless they have those five layers of encryption passwords and each layer has its own lengthy password which is different from the other one. So I hope I covered uh, most of the wallets that I'm aware of from the least security to the most security and it's always depends on you if you ask me like do you store your assets on exchanges yes I do if I want to trade them that's the only time I store them over there once I'm done with trading I always move them to other type of wallets uh, I don't use hardware wallets as I said I prefer to have more control I use I choose my own algorithm to encrypt those uh, those wallets. So, so for me, I I feel independent thick wallets are much more secure even than the hardware wallet because hardware wallets you are limited with the encryption. It might be AES American encryption standard, which is very strong now, but after 10 years it can be it can be brute forced, and that's it. Uh, people can get access to your wallet where with the software you can use multiple combination of encryptions and and uh, that is much more secure than than using hardware wallets okay i hope i've covered uh, everything to do with uh, cryptocurrency wallets i hope you enjoyed this video please you leave your comments below subscribe and like thank you very much and goodbye